pretty clear, wasn't it, in the early days uh, after this happened. Tony Hayward is a talented geologist, but he's pretty awful with the media. Didn't he need a strong chairman alongside him, giving him support, coping with that barrage of focus from the American press and the international media? Well, if you, if, you, if you think about it, all the questions that he gets is all the time around the, the operations and the well and the design and the courses and, and the expectations and how do we kill the well and what, about junk shots and about top kills and all those words that none of us knew before that the whole world knows about right now. All these questions he is the right spokesman for, or Bob Dudley or somebody else in the management team. And I, I think we have to be... It is clear that Tony has made uh, remarks that have upset people, but here is also a man that has been probably under 100 hours of, of uh, TV, uh, TV time and maybe 500 interviews. Did you never feel like one of those British generals in the First World War who blew the whistle and said, over the top, lads, I'm back at HQ quaffing the red wine? No, I, it, no, not at all. I mean, it, it's been, our roles have been so clearly defined and there has been no hesitation between me and Tony and the team or the, in the company or with the board about the roles we've had. But it's, it's also, and, and there is so much, the, the board has worked so intensely during this, uh, this period. We, we continuous board meetings and, and, and discussions with stakeholders of various kinds and preparing with, with political contacts and all those things. Everything that we do is, of course, not, not, not uh, exposed to media. But, but now the situation is a bit different.